Walking down the street in Manhattan, you'll hear a lot of horns, a lot of traffic, a lot of phone calls. Basically, people here live a very fast, busy lifestyle. But there's one place you can go to to have some quiet time, to enjoy some wonderful food and coffee. You're right. That is New York's Central Park. New York Central Park is a world famous public park. It was created in 1858. As New York City was growing rapidly, people's lives are getting busier and it's getting more stressful. So, the park was built to basically create an escape from the stresses of urban life to experience that peaceful countryside in the middle of the city. What a, a wonderful idea! In today's video, I'm gonna take y'all with me, and we're going to the Central Park. But wait a second, we're going to explore the food and drinks and bakery places around Central Park. Coming up, let's go! Hey guys, we're gonna try out a breakfast food place by Central Park, and this restaurant is called Denitasi. How do you how do you how do you pronounce? It's like. Denise Hassi. Let's go breakfast. Okay. Breakfast and coffee. Sweet peas and mint soup. Steak and eggs. This one looks good. Steak sandwich, biscuit sandwich, breakfast burrito, Colombian breakfast. Interesting. Hard worker breakfast. Avocado toast. On the Yelp, it says dining time is limited to one hour to one hour and a half. Because they don't want you to be working here. They only have so many tables for people. Yeah. Hey yeah, 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 yeah. guys, this is the hot chocolate. They made it look so pretty. Like his hot chocolate is looking prettier than my latte. This is my latte. It just looks normal with cheese foam on top. But like, look, hot chocolate looks so pretty. Thank you. This is Dr. Pan. He needs a girlfriend <laughs> from NYC. If any girls, if any girls are interested, he's a professor. He's a professor. Every time, don't worry. She, she'll, yeah, she'll find you a girl. You're not a broadcasting right now, right? No. no. You're recording. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I do a good job matchmaking though. How's the hot chocolate? It tastes like hot chocolate. Nothing special. It looks so pretty though. It looks pretty, but it's like know. it looks like a latte art. I, I could just drink Swiss Miss and I could still I'm just as happy. Hot chocolate. Mm, so cute. I can taste the water. Steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. Steak sandwich. Oh, do you mind like grabbing a sandwich? Show us what's inside. Sure. Steak sandwich. And, uh, with the, Wow! Oh, oh, guacamole. That avocado. 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 Wow! They give you a lot of steak. The steaks are like sticking out. It's huge. You could have shared it with someone, I think. Yeah, share with And then this is mine. It's healthier. Mine has kale in it. What is this? Steak and eggs. Steak and eggs. Look at this. This is the steak. They give you a lot of food steak for fifteen dollars. Twenty dollars. Really? Mine was fifteen, I think. Right. Ours. Yeah, yours is like twenty. Cause I, I guess steak. You get the steak and two eggs and the potato and the kale and everything. We could have shared this. I didn't think in there it's gonna be this big. Cause like all the other places in New York, they're like pretty small sizes. But these are actually pretty huge. All right. Dig in. There's like. <laughs> Mine is really healthy, I think. Give you some of this so you can put things on top of the chips, tortilla chips. Mine is like a salad, and you can choose like if you want chicken or beef or anything. Let's do tomato potato. Tastes like potato. Mm. There's olive oil at the bottom of his plate. It's like the the, the fillet, right? It's very fillet. Tender, right? Oh, right. the steak is tender. And it's medium, right? It's, it's medium done. So the steak is medium done. That's pretty good. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your food? Seven. Seven. I think mine is like eight point five. How's yours? Me too. About the. 8.5. 8.5. Would you come back to this place? I think I will come back to this place because, like, like the fact that they have like healthier options and the food is really fresh. 
And also, originally I thought this place was super close to the museum, but I realized that Yelp <laughs> lied to me. Oh, no. It's not Don't far. Work. It's like it's like one mile away, so we still have to walk 30 minutes. One mile, 30 minutes. I would say my dish is really good. But there's more scooters. It's really healthy. Like, I like the tail is like coated with oil and stuff, so it doesn't taste any grassy. The flavor is really good. I wish there's some avocados or guacamoles on my plate because it's more like with beans and stuff. So I think that would be something to improve. But overall, so we're here at this museum. We're here at Central Park. I think this is a Hey guys, we just got out of the mat. They don't allow us to film in there, so we didn't film. So overall, this is a huge, huge, huge museum. At the time of filming this video, it was like $25, and you have to wear a mask the whole time, but like it's huge. We didn't even get to the second floor. We went to the first floor, and the third floor, there's so much going on. And if you do plan to come, like maybe bring a pair of headphones, because you can join their Wi-Fi, and with their Wi-Fi you could actually like put on the like numbers and you can actually listen to the stories and you know with the exhibition it's so just definitely make it more interesting that I forgot to bring my headphone so I kind of have to like listen to a very small volume and stuff but overall pretty pretty cool this is one of the must-see museums if you're in town and my favorite part is the Egyptian part like it's perfect like it's really really great and then they have a lot of statues as well and on the third floor you can buy some of those like paintings not the real paintings but like the $28 for like a cheaper version of the picture of the paintings which I also thought it was pretty cool so now we're gonna look for some places to eat I kind of want to eat like a bakery place because we've been eating Chinese food every single day I kind of want like a French bakery or something like with some hot coffee and stuff and then we're gonna go around um, the Central Park and so many like vendors around the Central Park definitely come shopping there oh, these are watercolors I feel like some of those items are really good for room decor, but some of them are just like not the best. I want to say New York weather, it feels colder than it is. Like New York 60 degrees weather is not the same as San Antonio 60 degrees weather, for sure. Because San Antonio, there's no cloud. It's just all sun and it's just super warm versus in New York. Since we're by the water, there are clouds and stuff. It's definitely not as like, oh, there's this like creep place. That looks good too. They also have a children's gate in the Central Park where there are like swings and stuff. That's pretty cool. It's so peaceful inside. Hello everyone! Today's video, we're going to try out this French bakery shop close to Central Park, New York, and this is called La Durie, if I said it right. But it looks pretty legit. It, on Yelp, it has a $3 sign, so it's a little bit pricey. But since it's bakery item, it's like not that crazy. It's not like a lobster price. So let's try this out. It has macaroons and the wedding cake and everything. Yelp, it says it's like three money sign, which means it's probably expensive. Let's go. Are you ready? Lottery is a tea room slash bakery macaron specialist restaurant. So according to Brandon, he's seen this place before because it's a chain from France. So I think there are several locations in New York City, like such as here by Central Park, but also I think there is a location by Hudson Yards. And it's also available in Los Angeles, Florida, Washington, DC. Well, I love their macarons. There are so many different flavors and it was just so hard for me to choose my flavors but i can only choose several because first of all it's quite expensive second of all we can't eat that much sweet so let's try these out we got two like bakery items as lunch and some macaroons to eat in the park This is the salmon croissant. Look how good this is. Ooh, this is huge. It's like a huge, huge salmon croissant. Granted that it's $8, it's pretty expensive, but it's just so pretty. It has cucumbers in the middle, some parsley. It's just 
it looks so pretty that I don't want to eat it, but let's try it. Mm. The cinnamon flavor is very strong. It's in the perfect, perfect texture. I love their croissant. But I would say the salmon flavor is very, very strong. If you don't like a very strong, fishy salmon flavor, this may not be the one for you, but the croissant itself, it's perfect. It's just one of the best croissant I've ever had. Just like super flaky. It's just like so fluffy in the middle. It's just super good. All right, now let's try their seasonal quiche. They have two types of quiche. I think one is seasonal, one is regular. This one I think has more stuff and they ask you if you want them to warm it up for you. This is what the quiche looks like. It's super warm. And it has this flaky outside. Let's try this. I want to say their pastry is super good. The crust is amazing. The egg flavor is also very good. I personally prefer the quiche more than the salmon croissant. I feel like the, the salmon is a little bit too fishy for me, but this quiche is like such a warm, flaky crust and soft, cheesy egg inside with parsley and seasoned. I think this quiche is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend the seasonal quiche. The salmon croissant, I will give it, I think croissant is probably 10 out of 10. But the salmon part, I think overall I will give this one 8.5 out of 10. I feel like the salmon is too fishy. I like the croissant actually. I just feel like the salmon is like, is it smoky? Salt. Eight. Eight. I gave it 8.5. You like it? Mm -hmm. I think this is the best quiche I've ever had. I think this one has a really good egg and cheese flavor and it's warm and the outside crust is very flaky. Yeah, I think I like the eggs a lot. I don't like the quiche part much there though. You, which one do you like? I like this better. You like the croissant better? You like the egg part better? Mm -hmm. How would you rate it on a scale 1 to 10? Oh, it has to be 9. 9 out of 10? It's close to Central Park, highly recommend. Well, coffee is always good. Coffee latte is always good. But they only have three tables. We're just lucky enough that we got one of the tables and chairs or else we'll just have to stand there and eat in the cold. Or in the park, but then my quiche would be cold. So it's such a small place, like all the other places in New York. Cheers. You ate my egg. Mm. Cheers. All right, guys, so we're in the Central Park. Now let's try the macaroons. Okay, the first one is the black tea flavor, the Earl Grey. Mmm. I really like this. What do you think? I like the Earl Grey flavor. It's one of my favorite flavors. Definitely can taste the Earl Grey tea. You can definitely taste it. You eat it. I just like that it's blue. Macaroon itself is good. It's crispy, flaky. I think they give you a lot of fillings here too. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's try the next flavor. Is this one the strawberry sugar? Strawberry candy or something? Mmm. Strawberry. So what do you think of strawberry candy? Tastes like cereal. I don't like that one. I think that one tastes like artificial. Yeah, strawberry candy was no good. Like, it tastes like the Fruit Loops. Ugh. Yeah, it tastes like cereal. What's tastes this good. one? Mmm. This one is really good. What's this flavor? I think that's the orange something. Oh, orange blossom. This one is very unique. I've never had this flavor. I think this one is good. You can definitely taste the, the fruity orange essence. Mm. It definitely, it's definitely blossoming in my mouth. That's why, what's this one? Oh, rose. Mmm, the rose is a good one. It's very rosy, but I would say, I feel like the macarons here are definitely sweeter than the macarons from other places. I don't like this one. You don't like the rose? I love it this one. It's too much like a flower. I feel like the rose flavor is definitely the best. I like the macaroon part. I don't like the filling. I love this one. I think the best one so far is the Earl Grey and the rose. Honestly, I go with the strawberry. You like the strawberry? I hate yep, the strawberry. the cereal one. Tastes great. Mm, I like the rose one. Okay, last item. Finger sandwich. Or snack. Chicken Caesar finger sandwich. Honestly, I've never had finger sandwich in my life. It's just a sandwich with no crust. I've never had sandwich with no crust. Just, they just cut off white bread, no crust. Open it. Like a chunk of butter. Interesting. I've never had 
finger sandwich. I don't think it's a Texas thing. I've never seen it in Texas. This is what fancy people eat. Ooh, let me try it. I think it's pretty good. It's super soft. Yeah, it just tastes like white bread with a lot of butter and oil on it. A lot of a lot of butter and oil on the white bread. The filling is very creamy. Try again. I think the chicken is like diced up. On a scale one to ten. It's like a five. I'm not gonna eat it again. The lady finger sandwich. Why not? I don't think it's that good. I think it's this one sandwich. is really good. I think it's like really soft and creamy. Look, if I'm dying, I'd eat it. But I will give it a seven out of ten. I think it's totally good. I don't know what you have against I'd it. The croissant thing. Yeah, I would say croissant thing is better. This one is like good. But like the croissant was good. It's not like, worth eight dollars. Yeah, this is. much as cost. I don't think this is eight dollars. The croissant is eight dollars. I think this okay. is like probably four or five. Oh. But the croissant is the best value, I think. This one is kind of small. Overall, I think this place is totally good. In the salmon croissant, they also put a lot of salmon in there. Although it's quite pricey, I do think you get a lot of great stuff. Hey guys, we're here at Central Park. We have the buildings behind us. And this is a park. There's so many people, and there are also a lot of horses there that you can ride on the carriage. But and this is a great place to take a walk, jog, and then you have the city back view over there. You have the grass lawn. I would say like in New York, like grassy land is definitely rare. Versus like in San Antonio, we have grass in our backyard anywhere, everywhere. So. But here it's just like the place you can find peace. But I can still hear like the traffic ding, 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 ding. I feel like although I love New York and I love coming here, there's so many things to do, so many great places to visit and great places to eat. I wouldn't want to work. I don't. I wouldn't want to live here. Just because like just walking on the street gives me anxiety. There are like so many like hunks, horns. Like it's just. It's just a little bit crazy. I wouldn't say it's crazier than Beijing because in Beijing there are not that many like constructions going on during the day. But here it's definitely a little bit crazy. So I definitely need a day in the Central Park. And today is a beautiful, beautiful day. I was a little bit cold outside of the park, but here in the park there's sunshine, so I'm not as cold. Like last time I came here, there are like vendors where I bought like some paintings. And I love those paintings. I wish I could run into them again. They have the main street where you can ride your bicycle here. We could potentially rent a bicycle and just go right here. This is like reminding me of the old town China where like people are riding their bicycles and you sit in the back. That's pretty cool. This is also pretty cool. are so pretty. So something cool, this old man is actually feeding this squirrel some peanuts. <laughs> the squirrel got attention and then like slowly crawled down, got the peanut and started eating and then he noticed that I was watching so he took the peanut um, behind the bush and ate them secretly over there. That's just so cute. Central Park is pretty deep with a lake in the back and in summer you can definitely ride your boat on the lake. It's pretty cool. When you're in the Central Park, you definitely feel like you forget about any stress outside of this park. Just be within the nature. And this park also serves and has an environmental purpose for the city because the whole park and the trees are producing oxygens to really clean the air. This building is kind of cool. 
it's curved at the end. Hey guys, we didn't go to Empire State Building. We're trying to gonna go shopping. If we can make it in, we can make it in. This guy booked a round ticket. So it was like my number one thing I wanted to do this trip to go to the Empire State Building. This is the cool building that I was talking about. See how it's like, it's next to this like very antique looking building. It's like super contemporary and it's curved at the bottom. All right, now let's go. Alright guys, we're here at the St. Patrick's Cathedral. There we go. Let's get in. Last time when I came, I didn't get in. So today I think you can go visit. And also it's a St. Patrick's Day soon. We're supposed to wear green. I guess I didn't, but it's technically not that day. Let's try out this cha cha matcha thing. Brandon hates matcha, but I love, love, love it. So we're gonna get in to see if they have great matcha latte. Let's go. Okay. two drinks so the first one is the regular matcha latte and this one is the blue drink okay I want to say the blue drink is eight dollars and my regular matcha latte is like 450 like the matcha latte is actually priced pretty well considering Starbucks is also like five dollars versus the blue drink it's like so expensive but it has like protein or something collagen or something let's try the blue drinks first mm -hmm. It tastes really good. It's like a, it has a little bit of minty taste. Try this. What I meant to say was the lavender taste for some reason because it was blue and it tastes very refreshing and it tastes like this like very nice herbs. I just for some reason associated the taste to mint but it's actually really strong lavender and I actually really loved it. It's really refreshing. It's very calm but refreshing at the same time. It wakes you up but like in a very good and calming way. A little bit sweet, but not too sweet. It's like peppermint milk. Yeah, it's like peppermint milk. Interesting, let me try my matcha latte. My matcha latte is super good. It's like very, very strong matcha. Like they said like their matcha comes from Japan. It's ceremonial and stuff. It is very strong. And my friend from Japan, she's like, when it comes to matcha, the stronger, the more bitter, the better. So I would say this place is pretty legit. This blue one tastes better though. Yeah, the blue drink tastes really, really refreshing. It's like super good. And it looks really cool too. So if you're ever close to here, this is the Cha Cha Matcha. And on a scale of 1 to 10, I will give it a 9.5. How about you? 
I think it tastes better than the milk place we went to yesterday. I'd rather drink this. Really? You'd rather drink this? It's better than like I milky. milky place. Yeah, I, I think this is like a super good. Like I uh, originally I was a little bit suspicious, like because like it's just like it's a place that only sells basically matcha, but it's actually pretty legit. It's really really good matcha, and I think it's totally fine. So highly recommend. It's like right here. If you're shopping at Fifth Avenue, stop by, get a drink.